and welcome to this latest video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an Instagram carousel. They are great fun to add to your Instagram accounts and they just give it a little bit something different than your normal posting. So I'm going to show you how to create a carousel in Canva. Just going to go over to my all designs. This is my personal Canva account, so there's all sorts in here. And this is a carousel that I created um, and I've actually added to my Instagram account. So if you want to go and check it out and see what it looks like, you are more than welcome to. So first off, you need to decide how many images you're going to create to slide in your carousel. In this one, as you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, five separate which will be separate images, but once added together, will scroll smoothly um, within the post. So that's the first thing you need to decide how many you want to do. So I'm going to show you how to do four. I think we'll go for um, a set with four in. So what you need to do is you go back to your home page and you create a custom design up here. We'll click custom design. Now each one of those individual posts, they are individual images that will scroll together. They need to be a square because Instagram uses the square format. So to have them looking good, good quality and all be the same size, we're going to have them a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. So to do that, click create custom design, custom dimensions here. The width, if we are going for four posts, it's 1000 times four. So we want it 4,000 pixels wide and we want it 1,000 pixels high and we click create new design. And now you have this lovely long template. Now the trick here is we have now got to divide this equally into four. One thing you can do is go to file and then you have got a ruler section here, show rulers, and then you have this guide come up at the top, back to file and show guides. Okay, so now we have got ruler section up here. And if you literally, this line here, click on this line, drag it across to as close as you can get to 1000 and let go it's now given you a divide. We can go back, click on the line, we can bring it over to 2000, and then we do exactly the same with 3000. So now we have guidelines, so we can divide this into four later using um, an app that I use quite a lot to do this. I will show you how to do that, or tell you how to do that in a bit. So now we have four individual posts, which are square and will go perfectly into our um, Instagram account. Start this side. I've experimented with this and it depends on which app you use. Um, other apps I found you need to start designing this way and work across, but the one I use, you can start from this side and work your way across. So, um, if I just show you, let's see if it will just let me go back to all my designs and I'll just show you with the one I had designed. Here we go. As you can see with this one, I've started to the left um, and I've, it's gone across this way. So I would recommend, it's a little bit trial and error depending on which app you use to cut this into individual images once it's created but I would suggest starting on the left and using the app I suggest if you don't get on with it and obviously you can have a look at different apps, there's lots out there that do cut these into um, squares for your Instagram account. So we'll go back to this one. So now what you want to do is create your design, but you want to create it so it sort of flows between the lines you've got here. So I quite like adding things like, if we go to elements, circles, because you can make them half circles and add them across the line. You can change the color 
to suit your branding. And then when you add this, these are these blue lines obviously won't be there, they will be gone. And when you add this into your Instagram account, you'll have this little circle and it will make the images look like they are stuck together. And that's what we're aiming for. So you can add your little designs wherever you want. Um, if we type in something like swells, let's see what we got, what we get when we type in swells, because that's actually a really nice thing to add between the images if you're looking for something slightly different. You know, we'll go, for, we'll go for. Let's delete that. I'm going to go for a couple of swells in this one. I really like that. So I'm going to duplicate this. I'm actually going to flip it. No, no, you. That way. That way. I'm going to flip it like this. Why does that seem bigger? I want you. <clears throat> flip. Yeah, we'll go for something like this. So you can centralize. I'll bring it this way a bit. So you can create your design to suit your branding. I'm going to add some text in the middle. Um, Canva carousels. I think I've got that right. You will no, I haven't. You will need to um, enlarge the text because we've made the whole design quite big. The text boxes will come up very small. There we go. I'm going to add that in the middle, and I'm going to change the color to match my swirls. There we go. I'm going to maybe add um, oh, let's see what we get if we type in flashes. No, not in text. Oh, these are cool. This is this is a pro feature. So if you've got pro you can add so much in. I'm going to add one over here as well. I quite like that. The background is very white. I'm not sure if I'm loving the background. So I am going to have a look for a pattern. If you go to photos and type in pattern, it will bring up so many. This is one I tend to use quite a lot. Let's see if that looks any good on here at all. It's all trial and error. A lot of this is trial and error just to see what it looks like. I'm going to send it all the way to the back and I'm going to change the transparency so it's just in the background. So you can add more to your design. So you are creating a design that will hopefully flow across. It's one big design created across four different images. Canva carousels, let's add an S on there. Um, I'm going to add don't forget to add in your contact details or a way people can find you your website your social media people want to be able to contact you as well so definitely make sure people any of your viewers are able to contact you so I'm going to add in my website address there and should we add anything else? No, I think I'm probably going to leave it there. So as you can see, we have created one large design very, very quickly, I might add. Um, I've done this very quickly just to show you how to do it. So we've created our template, which is 4,000 by 1,000 pixels because we're separating it into four equal images of a thousand by thousand each. We've created our little design. Um, we've done it so that it flows. If you want, you can use each one separate. Like I have here, I've 
used each one separately, changed the background colour, but then I've got these little um, dots that link the pages together and I've added my image halfway across as well. So it just has extra um, oomph to it. We could do that actually. Um, I think I'm in my upload somewhere. I have so much in here. Oh, I like these. I'm going to add one of these. Hang on, don't want to move you. I want to move you. So you can add. I could add one of these here. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to add one here as well. And then move my website. So I've got these images going across the line. So they will be, <clears throat> they will actually look quite cool when it's um, being scrolled across as a carousel within your Instagram account. So you've now got a full understanding of how to create your template and then how to design it. So you can either make it one large image like I've done, or you can use individual sections. If you've got a specific product or a service that you're promoting, you can have a bit of information on the first one, leads to the second one, all the way through to checking out your product, your Instagram, your YouTube, whatever it is you're trying to promote on the very last one. But don't forget to put some sort of social media or contact or email or website so that people can contact you. Now, the best way to get this onto Instagram, download it, as a PNG, so if you have 4,000 by 1,000, I will download this. <clears throat> so you need to use an app now for this. I will just have a quick look on my phone and I will tell you which app I use. It is called Grid Maker for Instagram. Grid Maker for Instagram, it's a super simple app to use download your design you will probably need to either send it to yourself on your phone or if you've got canva on your phone log into your canva account and download it from your canva app on your phone once you've got it on your phone you can then use grid maker for instagram and it will instantly chop it up into four pieces for you what i will do is i will do a, another video um, so watch the next video and I will just show you quickly how to use the Grid Maker for Instagram app on your phone. Obviously Instagram, everything's done on your mobile. And then we will upload it into our Instagram accounts. So I hope that's helped with creating the design on Canva. The next part is updating it and downloading it and making it accessible so we can upload it to Instagram.